what is up guys and welcome to our weekly session of lounging with leet today i have a very special guest my sister also known as my very first friend because that's what your siblings are we are three years apart so of course who else i'm gonna play with i can't keep playing with them stupid dolls and such so it was her and um, as I am the oldest, I have driven her crazy. And so on today's session, we're just going to be talking about our different fashion styles and how I have been um, able to add a pop of something, something, okay, into her wardrobe. So you guys go ahead and get comfortable as we get into this week's session of Lounging with Fleet. All right, guys. So with me today, I have my sister, Melanie. Yes, our parents had three girls and we all have the same initials. <laughs> not, I mean, not me, I had to change my name when, uh, me and Marquis got back together, but that's a different story, okay, for another day, okay? So, Mel, as I so affectionately call her, I do have a nickname for her, but it is not for the masses, so I'm just going to be calling her Mel today. That is not really what I call her, but anywho. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mel, let's talk about fashion. Let's talk about your relationship with fashion, your experience with fashion, because guys, my sister, I, I am the fashion one. My sister is not. And, uh, Listen, I don't know. I always say I must I think that I come from somewhere else, but um <laughs> how you gonna sh shake your head? <laughs> but I definitely think I come from somewhere else because I mean our dad he shopped at Kmart, he wore these K <laughs> <laughs> he wore <laughs> He wore these Kmart slides. I mean, Bruce Lee specials. Let's call them what they were. I mean, seriously, year round. Okay. And all um, colors. He even had like a light pair for the summertime. No, um, they were basket. Did you know it was like a basket weave? Like them picnic sandals? I'm annoyed. So, you know, that was our dad. Um, our mom, actually, to be quite honest, when I was younger, uh, my mom, she used to wear these um, plain high heel pumps. And what she would do to change the look of the pumps is she had these decorative clips that she would clip on the, it would like go, it would like sit on top some type of way. And she, why are you laughing? And she would change that. I, why are you laughing? I don't know. Because you, you don't recollect this? I, of course not. We was living in Gateway Gardens. So anyway, she um she would put these clips on her pumps. And so for the longest time, I used to be like, when I get older, uh, I'm going to be a businesswoman. <laughs> because that she was going to work. So she was a businesswoman with her pumps and her little clips. With replaceable clips. Yeah. So, you that know. my aspirations. That's what I remember of my mom. Um. You know, and of course, now, I, I don't really know what her fashion style is. I don't really know. She has way more than male, of course. <laughs> male must come from our dad's fashion sense with the Kmart. That must be what that is. Um, And my mom, you know, she's just right above that because I don't really know where she be shopping at, but she be looking classy. Don't, like my mom, she can look okay, all right? I be seeing her. So, yeah, so Mel, let's talk about your relationship with fashion. So, um, what I can remember being a kid, you can't go outside with your good shoes on. I don't want them then because I want to go outside. I want to play. I want to get dirty. 
So you couldn't go outside with your good shoes on. So that's so you just translated that to I'm gonna just look a bum outside. I don't think I look at like that. <laughs> but <laughs> I am more laxadaisal, I'll say. I'm just I'm very relaxed with it, yes. <laughs> I wear the good stuff when I have to, you know, dress up. Other than that. Do you have any good stuff? I think I have good stuff. Oh, okay. okay. I do. I okay. think I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. So from your childhood, you remember you can't wear your good shoes outside. And so then what? And then it was hand-me-downs. What do you want me to do with that? <laughs> I'm hand-me-down Holly. Where is the new stuff? I don't know what new stuff look like. It come out of a bag. Huh? It come from cousins. Like, what does it look like? I don't know. So, how was I supposed to know that I'm supposed to be looking for? No, my aspirations were never to get my clothes out of a bag. That's it. I have progressed if it's not coming out of a bag. A box. Cardboard. All this kind of stuff. My first pair of shoes. New pair. Jordans, fashionable, did not match my jersey in high school, but I wore them every day. So wait, where did these, where did these, okay, so wait, I got two questions. One, where did the hand-me-downs come from? Everybody else. I mean, I even had tap shoes and a hand-me-down. How could I wear tap shoes to regular <laughs> school? Come on now. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, so there is always a price tag something with the tag in my closet because I just can't think that I'm going to be wearing something from somewhere else. That was my mentality a while ago. It's just not my mentality now. But, I mean, for the longest, I don't want to get clothes out of a bag. So it's just like... And you have to be specific. You don't want to get clothes out of a hand-me-down bag. Because you keep bag. saying bag. That can be a store bag. But what you're saying is you do not want to receive. Out of the trunk of your car. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to receive clothes in a garbage plastic bag with with the tag. With, Trauma. You know, <laughs> Trauma is attached. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so these Jordans that you reference, how did you come across these Jordans? My grandmother, finally. Oh, um, really? Grand bought them? Grand bought them for me. Oh, go ahead, Grand. She Gwen. was like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was not a bill being paid. I don't know what happened. But it was like, I want to get you some shoes. Me? You want to give me some shoes? Um, Okay. So what do you want? I want some Jordans. Like, I've never had those. Like, everybody wears those. Okay, you're going to get some. Dad. Mommy was paying child support then. That was probably mommy's child support money. But we're not going to go there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're not going to talk about who? our childhood trauma. Any, well, my childhood trauma. Any go ahead. Who? <laughs> I got my Jordans. And I was so happy because it's Aww. like my foot is, is being placed in something that nobody else's foot was in. No, no offense, because I think I wore some of your shoes, too. I mean, I'm not a, I am traumatized by this story, actually. Like, as you're, like, this story is making me be like, no wonder you didn't have a fashion sense. Girl, I had purple sweatpants. You count And I had to wear them more than one day in a, in a week. Ew. How, Ew. Do, how do you rotate purple? Like, Ew. you can rotate black and nobody and know, right? How do you rotate purple? Ew. Look, so I'm just an athlete, so it's like, yeah, my shirt. Male play basketball in high school. And softball. That too. Um, wow, that's deep. Okay, so we have the foundation of your, this, this, this just lets me know so much. Like now I know why you were never interested in fashion because you never had any of your own. You had fashionable hand-me-downs. I mean, but you still could have tricked those hand-me-downs, but still. Fashionable. Purple sweatpants. I mean. I purple mean, <laughs> sweatpants. I mean. Purple sweatpants. If you had a, I'll just say this. If you had an eye for fashion, or if you, you are very creative. But I think it was such a traumatizing thing to receive these corny hand-me-downs that you couldn't even try to make it do what it do. No. So, 
I, I, I looked for summer jobs. I was so happy to work with Dad one time. Oh, and you work with Daddy? Mm-hmm. Oh, That's when that. he was at uh, the Pitney Bowes spot that was over there in uh, What did you Hartsville. do? Girl, I just put some paper in the box. Probably organized the A, B, C, D, E. Oh, okay. And I did it for a few hours. But oh. I like that summer chat. Yeah, I know. That's right. Hello. So Big I, ups to the summer chat. Yeah. So I was able to get some, some more things, like some jeans, some my own stuff that going to touch my body first. Oh, my God. And, uh. Yeah, so then I fell in love with jeans and sweatpants, t-shirts. I was I was chill. I, I do put on a dress because, you know, for an away game, we got to dress up. But, you know, you helped me there. How? Because you dressed me when it was an away game. Oh, sure. Started early. Okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, well, we way past high school. So, let's get into, so that is the foundation of your fashion I, I get it now. So let's go to, let's talk about when you're in your 20s. Um, because I know for me, um, I was so happy to be an adult because then I was able to dress. I was able to dress myself according to my income. I wasn't forced to you know, be dressed according to my parents' income. It was like, I'm making my own money so I can, you know, dress how I want to dress. Well, that that is how I felt, you know, once I hit like 20 and moved out and stuff like that. So how did you feel? How was fashion for you in your 20s? Because guys, we're 40 now. Like, she's 40, I'm 43. So let's talk about your 20s. Okay, well working i need you to have a shirt so all i have to do is worry about pants so there's no fashion okay because i'm just wearing still pants. no fashion still no no, no fashion and i don't really think i'm going out where i have to get any fashion because i'm working and i'm working because yes i have children so in my 20s i am taking care of my children and at that time i had two girls and then 25 is probably when I had my son. So, no, I had Marquise at 25. You were younger than that. Any, 20, 25 minus any who, 22. Any she had her children very young. She followed in the footsteps of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> she had Miracle at 16, Miana at 18, oh and then Amara at 22, and then she was done. Although, throughout the years, she has always contemplated another one. No, let's be done. Three, listen. Mommy has more than enough grandchildren. Okay. Listen, I'm I'm good. Okay. Okay. This is, this is why my jobs now include children. Yay. Oh, that's right. She like kids. We know I don't. So, um, okay. So in your twenties, you have your small babies. Uh, by the time you're 25, you have three children. So there's no fashion. Because <laughs> I need to take care of kids. There's no clothes buying and accessories and all that kind of stuff. Y'all changing coats in the season. Don't nobody know what that means. At least I don't, okay? You got boots. Now you ain't supposed to wear this. And then I don't have time for none of that. It's tennis shoes. Get to work. Get back. Hook, okay? I don't I don't know nothing. Now, we getting into these 30s. Oh. Let's talk about the oh. 30s. First, let's talk about 25 because that's when I got my ears pierced. Wait a minute. Shut up. Because, you know, you cried and they thought you were dying. So, I couldn't get my ears pierced. So, let's just say. So, let's just say it sucks to be the middle child it sometimes. It sucks, guys. But I, I, I'm i here. I'm pumping. <laughs> and I'm cute. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay. So, 25, I get my ears pierced <laughs> on my own. Because, you know, she cried too much. So, they didn't want to get my ears pierced. <laughs> but then when they have my little sister, they get her ears pierced. Like, what? So y'all not gonna get my ears pierced? Shut up. So they skipped over you, but then get, gave Remy ears pierced. Her, her ears is pierced. <laughs> These parents What are y'all doing to me? Okay, so Dang. 25 I get earrings. So then I, I got a new thing. Oh my gosh, you can, you can match these? Okay, so now I'm getting into this girl thing. Okay, um, I think I cut my hair too. Now I got a short hairdo 25? and I got earrings. Yes, you was doing it. Now I'm starting to, maybe I don't need to wear a t-shirt and stuff. Let me see what I look like in a dress. 
a little one. Cute. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, I started to want to incorporate those pieces in. But what Lita would let me know is that I don't need to look like I'm going out <laughs> to like an uh, uh, after hours spot or bar <laughs> when I want to dress up. It's like that should be more classy. You but, don't have to look hoish. Like you're a call girl. So that has not dawned on me. I hear her talking, but you know, she the older sister. I'm like, whatever, I'm cute. But now that I'm older, I kind of understand that now. So it's like I'm like really invested in trying to up my look, make it more classy, um, you know, with copes and I'm getting advice from her and when to change stuff what colors to pull in it's like it's a lot of work i gotta take notes <laughs> but wait can we talk about how but but can we talk about something can we talk about how your hand-me-downs are now oh like when i give okay so oh, no, i'd be i'd be real excited because her hand-me-downs come with purses <laughs> it's a new accessory <laughs> with like earrings oh <laughs> Because anything that I can't fit, like if I wear it, I can't fit it. Like I had forgot all about this bad coat I gave her. I wish she would have took a picture in it. Um, and she was like, "Oh, this coat." I, I said, can put it on. It's it's not going it's with not, the flow of it's this. It's not going with. It's the not going with what we're um, doing here. Because I can show. <laughs> no, you, I do. You would have to hook up the whole thing. You can't just put on a coat and take a picture. That ain't that see, ain't. See, CD, I'm still. <laughs> This is when the notepad got to come out. <laughs> and I got to know I just can't be throwing on stuff. So, yes. So, like, um, I do think, like, now, you know. when I, I know. It's different. Like, you're, it's not it's not a feeling of when I was younger. Like, I actually, because I'm a realtor and I need to dress the part. Like, I don't want to show up to a house in sweatpants and real chill. No, I want that, that good coat she gave me. I want those nice pair of pants. I want my nice flats or whatever I'm wearing, my pumps or whatever. Yeah, I have those. I own some. Because when I, uh, my foot grew or whatever, and um, so all my nines, I could not fit them. So I gave them all. I told her to come over to my house. I said, girl, let's go through all these nines. And y'all know how I, but you know, unfortunately she didn't get in she didn't get in when I was getting my Rothies and stuff. So she didn't get none of them. However, the first pair of Rothies I bought was a nine because my foot hadn't grown yet. And actually, I can't really wear oh, you been holding out. I <laughs> that's, that's all like. That's all like she been holding out. Yeah, like I think I just need to give them to you because... I think so. But I adore them because I will I will continue the adoration. adoration. <laughs> and I think I will just have to look into repur repurchasing them. I don't even know if they have them. Have that style? That's another thing. But anywho, but you can't wear them. They're not like how my nine and a half Rockies are. So I'm not messing up my feet. You're right. Don't mess up your feet. So I'm gonna give you those. So anyway, I wish I would have thought about it. I would have brought them. So anyway, so that's good. So basically, my sister, um, you know, fashion wasn't a thing for her because of her upbringing. However, because she's into real estate now, she needs to look the part. Hello? She need to look like a million bucks, okay? So, um, so she's definitely been doing an amazing job. Like, guys, I'm about to pop up this picture of she had bought, because of course y'all know I have Lita's Closet where I sell items. So she had bought some orange leggings and then she had bought, at different times, mind you, and then she had bought a, um, a orange Tupac hoodie. Honey, I couldn't believe she hooked it up herself. She hooked this outfit up herself. Even put on these vans that were like a lavender color that like matched some of the print in the hoodie. I could, I saw that, I, 
what wait a minute this girl that dressed herself i couldn't believe it so proud such a proud owner sister okay so guys that's all we have for this week's session me dis discussing fashion with my very first friend my sister join me next week because my sister wants me to take a look in her closet and create outfits for her. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me, guys, because I don't know what's up. I don't know what I'm about to see, okay? I'm scared, okay? I am too. Because <laughs> y'all, she's not really in the fashion, so I have to get ready to go create. I have my own sense of fashion, okay? Why she thinking that what was hard that? to hook up my bands with? No, that was easy. Like, oh, was it? I have a, I oh, have God. my own set. So okay. it's just once she comes into my closet, into my world, we can see what type of pop she can make. I'm scared, <laughs> but anywho, so make sure to like us, subscribe, guys, and join me next week as we take a look into my sister's closet. Thank you for watching. <laughs>